Let's talk about some of the most important questions from data interpretation this time. DI was relatively very, very simple. The first question that we would cover was based on profit percentage. So for the company A, what was given was the profit percentage. And for the company B, the income and the expenditure was given and the formula as well was given. So nothing much that you have to do. You have to simply apply the formula and find out the values for the given questions. So let's move question by question. The first question says if the company of uh, if the income of company A in 2018 was 90 lakh, then the net profit of the company B was what percent more of the net profit of company A? So to find out, first of all, the net profit of company B for 2018, what we would do is uh, you would have 72 minus 45 and that would be a net profit of 27 lakhs for company B that is done. For company A, we have the profit and profit is equal to income minus expenditure divided by expenditure into 100. We know the income, we know the profit percentage which is 20%. So 20 by 100 is equal to uh, income which is how much? 90 minus X by X. Okay, we solve uh, for x and we get a certain value let's say it's uh, uh, 15 lakhs okay so 15 la uh, uh, for x we get how much it is 75 lakhs now how much is the profit uh, how much is the net profit here so my original income was 90 lakh 90 minus my uh, expenditure which was 75 so this gives me a profit of 15 lakhs now this is my profit and this is my profit for a and b respectively now what is asked is what percent more than the net profit of company a so that would be 15 that is 27 minus 15 divided by 15 into 100 so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to find out what percentage of net profit is more for company b as respect to company a so it's the company b profit minus the company a profit divided by the profit of company a into 100 i solve this and i get the answer for it the next question is what is the difference between percentage of profit of company a and b for 2013 so 2013 i already know the profit percentage for a i'll find out the profit percentage for b which is 48.6 minus 36 divided by 36 into 100 and this comes out around 35 percent i take a difference of 40 percent and 35 percent which gives me five percent so a very very direct and a simple question here the next question says if the income of company A in the year 2014 happened to be 32.5 lakhs and this is for 2014, 2014 I already know the profit percentage which is 25 is equal to income which is 32.5 minus expenditure divided by expenditure into 100 so i find out the expenditure the question is what is the sum of the net profit in rupees for company a and b so i have to find out the sum of net profit now net profit here would be how much 10 okay because income minus expenditure that's 35 minus 25 is 10 i find out the expenditure here and this comes to be around 26 uh, legs now what would be my profit in this case my profit in this case would be 32.5 minus 26 which gives me 6.5 so profit for a and profit for b is known now what i do is i add a plus b and as simple as that it's 6.5 plus 10 so it's 16.5 lakhs that would be your right answer the next question, the expenditure of company A in 2017 was given. So for 2017, 10% is the profit percentage. Expenditure is 45 lakhs that is given. So again, 10 is equal to, uh, that's my income minus expenditure, which is 45 divided by 45 into 100. I find out the income in this case, which comes out to be 49.50. I already know my expenditure, which is 45. So I get the profit, which is 4. Point uh, 5 lakhs okay now what is asked is the net profit of company A is what percent the net profit of company B in the same year. So net profit of company A is 4.5 and for company B is how much it is 30 okay. So uh, when I say 30 how much it becomes is 4.50 divided by company A divided by company B into 100 i solve this and i get the answer for this question so that comes out to be around 15 percent so again a very very direct question based on simple calculations that you have to do
The next is the percentage profit of company B was maximum in which year. So what I have to do is I have to find out for these four years. Now there are many of the years given. I have to take into account only 14, 15, 16 and 17. Leave out 13 and 18. Now what I do is I simply find out the profit percentage. So it's 35 minus 25 divided by 25 into 100. 62.4 minus 48 divided by 48 into 100 and I'll do it for all the four. Then I'll say which of the following would be the highest. So uh, the year which would come up to be the highest percentage would be the right answer. A very, very direct question based on the table. The next question shows the table for various types of vehicles which a company is producing for seven different years from 2012 to 2018. There are three types of vehicles A, B and C that are produced here. Now the question says the number of A type of vehicle produced in 2014. So A type in 2014 is this much is what percentage of the number of C types of vehicles produced in the year 2016. So 2016 C type of vehicle was this much. I have to find out the percentage. So it would be 10,000 divided by 15,000 into 100. And that would give me the ratio or uh, the percentage of A in 2014 vis a vis the C in 2016. The next question is average number of C type of vehicles produced by the company over the years. So what I do is I take all the C type of vehicles, add up all the C types of vehicles, okay? And I divide it by the total number of years 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this all I added divided by 7. And that is what is the average number of C type of vehicles produced by the company over the years. A very direct question again. The next is again a similar question. The average number of B types of vehicles produced in a company over the years. So I add up all these. Okay. And I divide it by 7. So that is the average number. The next is. In which of the following years was the total production of all the three type of vehicles 60,000. Now this is simple 20,000, 15,000 and 25,000. I add up all these. This gives me 60,000 and therefore 2016 would be your right answer. So 25 plus 15 is 40. 40 plus 20 is 60. So it gives me 60,000. A very very direct question. So as we say don't be afraid of DI section. Sometimes it's very very scoring and very very simple obvious questions that are part of your question paper. The last question based on this table is in how many years was the production of a type of vehicle less than the average production over the given years. So what I do is I take up all the addition of these values for seven years I divide it by seven. Okay, I get the average that comes out to be let's say 16,500. Now for how many years I have the values which is less than 16,500 one, two, three and four. So my right answer here would be four years. And that's how we solve these types of questions. So DI was relatively simpler. Uh, don't be afraid. Even within the five questions of DI, two and three were extremely, extremely simple and repetitive. So let's say average of A was asked then average of B was again asked. So if you know how to do one, you would be able to do the another as well. The values were not very complicated. So speed is not an issue for this. But yes, mathematical reasoning questions this time were a little different. A lot of focus on profit loss. Uh, then you had discounts, uh, simple interest, compound interest. So those were some of the major topics that were asked under uh, the mathematical section. So we will be covering a lot of questions before your examination. Stay tuned. Have a wonderful evening.